Okay, today I'm going to show you how to prepare a file for print on your MakerBot Replicator 5th Gen. So you start by just inserting the file, like so, and then you can have a look around it, choosing your mouse, zoom in and out, just to check everything's okay. It's all looking good there. And then, as you can see, to the left of your screen, you've got four options. The first one is to change the view. Uh, you can select either the side, top or front view but we'll just reset it for now and in the next one you can change the positioning of your model on the build plate so you can put it wherever you want and just move it around grabbing it with your cursor and then you can rotate as well and you can do that quite precisely um, just by entering in the degree of rotation you want and on which axis and you can also do it in increments of 90 degrees if you select the options to the left of that okay so then the fourth option is to change the dimensions and you can change the scale and we just entered 200 percent there and made it a little bit bigger and then we need to choose our print settings we've got an option of high standard or low and you can also choose your layer height, infill, whether you want ra a raft and supports, and also the material and print temperature. Okay, so now you want to export your print file. And to do that, you just click there and then export now. It tells you the time it's going to take. So you want to then give it a name and save it in your desired location and that's all ready to print. This process is exactly the same for all the other MakerBot 3D printers and um, you just need to make sure that you select the correct printer before you import your STL file. Thanks for watching. If you like the video then please click to subscribe. For more information on the printers and materials we've used in this video, visit dream3d.co.uk.